Hello, okay. Hello everyone. Um, kind of excited to show you a product today. Now I did a video some time ago where um, I showed you <laughs> audio of a Cat5 uh, with these S snakes type of stuff. Now I have found something that can save you a lot of bucks. So we're all familiar with, um, I don't want to say the name, but the, the, the boxes like these that run you about 300 bucks. Well, $89, $89, that's what I paid for that. Comes in a run of the mailbox like this. Um, that's the manual. Not much of anything, just, uh, you know, maybe some hookup diagrams, but that's what I'm here for. I'm gonna just give you an example of what this is. Now this is, for those who are unfamiliar, it's audio over Cat5 or DMX or AES. Um, over a Cat5 cable and vice versa, you could take, uh, you could um, repeat. Now this unit, let me show you guys what I like about this one. It's two banks of four, one, two, three, four, and you've got a, a power uh, Ethercon. Sorry, Ethercon. It's a lock-in Ethernet connector, and it's it's also parallel on this side. So essentially, what you got here, it's a hard wire split with a disconnect. That's multi-pin with, three, with uh, four channels at a time. Buy two for 89 bucks. It's all hardwire um, inside, you know, there's no major circuitry and it just works, all right? So does it pass phantom power? Okay, let's see. All right, here's a condenser microphone. There's a mixing console, okay? So let's, this is what I'm gonna do. This is the XLR from the blue, and um, I'm gonna pop it. I think it's on this channel. Now, what we gotta do is connect the console. Now, this is a lock in connector, um, Ethercon again. Come on, do your focusing. Maybe it doesn't want to, but okay, you got the idea. And um, it's connected with a. I'll show you. Let me get this in here. You should always power down. Never do that. Okay, so here we are. And phantom power. All right, so there's phantom power through this microphone. You can see it on the meters. Me mute there. So what does this mean? Now I've done, what I have is one of these connected on the inside of the console. Actually, there, there may be about five. Or, so each group or instrument has their discrete. So. In my case, I am, um, there's a vocal mic, my stereo guitars, and a direct box for an acoustic guitar in most cases. So, I can also make a split, seeing that the signal is coming from the microphone here, going that way, and I can also do this. That means I could take, uh, now I'm gonna put a link to this product, because it's really gonna save you some money, because I was gonna pay uh, 200 plus for something very similar. Um, just to do what I'm trying to do. Okay, so let's let's run this test. So I'm gonna take um, another Cat5 like this one, and I'm going to I mute the board. Yeah, and I'm gonna connect side A. All right, these are all new connectors, so you know so it takes a little it's a little stiff. And um, let me see, I'll connect it to the true of side B, right? Because, okay, and uh, let me put it just way first. Okay. Great. And now I'm gonna move, now we still got a signal there, that's, um, I muted the master. I'm gonna take the condenser mic off. And I'm gonna put it on this side. And there it is. So essentially, now we've got this side connected. So what does that mean? <laughs> it means we've got a, we got a split, a, a hardwire split type system. So, so I can now, for example, let's put this back into the system. Over there, um, let's take the true. Everything's kind of iffy here. And I can 
choose at this point to connect this one, which is the female females. And we got a split. So now I've got the microphone that way. This is the console. And this goes to whether I'm using this front of house or monitor, right? Or to the, and or I can go this way. Now we got these connectors. You know, I could even go a little bit crazy. We can dump this way. Just show you how wild we can actually go. All right, and now we're jumping that way. I can take. <laughs> Another one of these, just because I can. Now, I'm gonna put an affiliate link for this thing in in the description for Amazon, because obviously I ordered a few more and I probably could use the cash to buy a case. So, you, so whatever you guys do, it's gonna eventually probably get me a case or something like that. All right, so. We'll take this guy, take this one, plug him into here. Great. And now, I'm just going to get a bit less messy. So, that's your split. And then over here, you could pop another one of these in and get a broadcast split from this end. You know, the options are endless, so. Let's take it back down to, so there's your fan out sub snake, so. You know, it's easy. This is a disconnect. It becomes a four-channel disconnect. Easy as that. You know, stuff like this we've been struggling. All right, so and here's, this is where we did the, the jump. I'm just going to take it all apart. Okay, all the connectors are pretty new. I got this off a guy. This is 50 foot, so 50 by 4 channels. Alright, there's the microphone. I'm going to show you the build quality of this device. Obviously, in the case, so again, there's your A, 1, 2, 3, 4, a through. There's your other channel, you can connect these. These are all serviceable. It's all properly well made. Simple, shallow unit. You could fit a, a lot of these in a rack. So I'll put the link below. <laughs> save your, you guys can save yourself some, some cash for sure. These things are they're also available with um, male connectors. So you could kind of make it whatever combination you choose. Remember it passes DMX and AES as well. So, ciao.